to hear. Drink a good eel of it, make a good meal of it, stick to your old-fashioned beer. Now don't be afraid of it, drink till you're made of it, now all together a cheer. Hi there, everybody. It's Mark once again, your one-take beer reviewer, the guy who writes about craft beer in Chicago at Beeronaut.com. Right there. And uh, once again, it's time to uh, look at another beer that has been sent to me by the brewer for my uh, consideration. And this is another local one, so it kind of goes to the head of the cl head of the line here. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to uh, get through and have been kind of delayed because... Partly because I finally got a replacement for my uh, three terabyte uh, backup hard drive where all my videos are because it finally crapped out. I was able to rescue all my videos and uh, kind of just squirrel it away in various places. And the uh, manufacturer, Seagate, was kind enough to send me a brand new drive, even though it was long out of warranty. So uh, uh, it always pays to send in that card, folks. Anyway, what we are looking at is from Crystal Lake brewing company in chicago's northern suburbs they've sent us a couple of things before and right now what we're going to look at is their new hazy imperial ipa hoptopus and we'll probably pop a picture of that right in there and what we are looking at is a uh, ipa that is 8.5 percent alcohol so just at the edge of imperial territory and uh they don't mention the hops that go into it, but it's only 30 IBU, so we're going to suppose it's, uh, well, mainly hazy and uh, just uh, various flavoring hops. So why don't we go uh, pop into this one here? I've got this balanced on several boxes. I think I'll just move this down now that we've all seen it. All right, yes, looking very hazy, like uh, pineapple juice, if you like, with a nice, uh, nice foam on the top. Yes, opaque and, ah, uh, oh yeah, a very uh, big smell of uh, maybe pineapple guava, uh, papaya, various other tropical fruits that I uh, don't really indulge in outside of a uh, hoppy beer flavor. But it's, uh, and, and some citrus, and uh, just a little bit of pine, I think as it says, it's probably not going to be very bitter, but let's find out. Well, it says only 30 IBUs, but it is still kind of a smack there. Um, maybe uh, some alpha acids are still at play here. And uh, there's now more pine and resin in the palate than I got on the nose. And um, a very uh, nice uh, tropical fruit thing again. So tropical fruit and uh, pine, maybe just a little bit of vanilla as I think about it. But... Uh, Fills in nicely around the edges. Uh, this kind of stands up with um, any of a number of other hazy big IPAs. Of course, when there are big beers like this, I very rarely have any two of them together to really compare them. But this is coming out pretty nicely. So uh, I'm going to uh, finish this, um, get back to uh, backing up my hard drive. And uh, once again, it's the Hoptopus from uh, Crystal Lake Brewing Company of Crystal Lake, Illinois, and this is Mark, your one-take beer reviewer, saying skull. Now don't be afraid of it. 